Hey guys, what's up everybody? This is Patrick and today I'd like to know if you ever asked yourself which lens you would choose if you could only have one lens on your camera for the rest of your life. Well, I did many times and in my case it always comes down to this one here, the Canon 24-70 f2.8. To me this is definitely the one lens to rule them all for so many reasons and I'm going to tell you why in a second. Hang on. The 24 to 70 mm focal range is always called standard zoom, which probably gives it kind of a boring affiliation. Not a single photographer I know of wants to take standard pictures on a standard lens, but everybody wants their shots to stand out. And maybe that's the reason why this lens is so overlooked. That is at least what I see a lot on Facebook when people ask what lens should I buy. Most times they get recommended either a ultra wide angle zoom or a 7200 telephoto lens, but the 2470 gets very few mentions in comparison. I don't know why that is, but what I know for a fact is there is nothing boring or standard about this focal range at all. The 2470 sits right in the middle between a wide angle and telephoto lens, covering some of the most important focal lengths we typically use as photographers. This makes it a very versatile piece of glass for everyday use that handles pretty much everything you throw at it. Let's take a closer look. At the low end of its range, at 24 mm, it works great for architecture or landscape photography. Zoom in to 35 mm and you've got all kinds of travel or street photography covered. And further up at 50 to 70 mm, it gives you that really nice depth of field, making it a great choice for portraits or any other subject you want to isolate. This is an f2.8 lens, which means it's very fast. The aperture opens up nice and wide, letting lots of light in throughout its entire focal range. At f2.8, it gives you an incredible bokeh and the low light performance is superb, which is especially important to me because of the concert photography I do. I've literally covered entire corporate event shootings using only this lens and that also made it my number one lens in terms of return on investment pretty fast. Unfortunately, f2.8 lenses are always bigger, they are heavier and they cost more money. This lens comes at about $1,500 if that is out of your budget, but you still want to get that versatile focal range I just told you about, you should check out the F4 version, retailing for approximately half of that price. I have linked both versions down in the description if you want to look them up yourself. All these advantages this lens provides not only apply to still image photography, but also to videography. Some weeks ago I took it with me on a day trip to Vienna and I'm gonna show you some b-roll now I entirely shot on the 2470 back then, so let's check it out. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this Viennese vibes captured entirely on the Canon 2470 f2.8. If you did, please hit that like button below the video and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on next week's upload. In the meantime, take a look at all the other videos on my channel, drop me a comment and let me know what lens you couldn't live without. See you next week, bye bye!